We're Vernon and Mariana. And today we're taking you on a first class train ride from Venice to Milan. Okay, cool. So we just sat down here and we have these like table seats and the seats here are actually leather. So they're a lot softer than the regular train that we were just on. Um, they have these little uh, armrests here. It's a little area that you can hold stuff at. Um, and uh, of course some charging spots for your phone. Not every train in Italy has that, but I'm guessing every one of these kinds of trains definitely do, which is super convenient because we're going to be traveling for about two hours. So if I'm using up my phone, I want to make sure I can charge it. The other really cool thing about this is that you can reserve your seat in advance so that you don't have to fight for a seat when you get on. It costs us about 75 euro each, which is about $80. And uh, we're going to see if it's worth it. One of the immediate things I definitely noticed is this train is so much more quieter, like smoother. The people are still loud, but the train itself is very nice and smoother. So one of the things that I learned is that this train can go up to 400 kilometers per hour, but it's really only certified to go up to 300 kilometers per hour. About 10 minutes into the train ride, we got some goodies, so we got juice. Vernon has coffee. And we got these uh, snack boxes. So we're about to check out what's inside. Everything's very red. A nice little cleaning towel, cookie. I think these are like brownies, which is cool. I think. And that's it. So like just a little snack for now. Yeah, that's what they give you like 10 minutes in. So uh, some water and of course your most important coffee. Coffee, you gotta have the coffee. See how good these cookies are? I'll try the brownie. Okay, is it a brownie? Mm. Italy, even on trains, has really good pastries. At least this is. Mm. His is questionable. It's not the greatest brownie I've ever had. But it's pretty good. And this is all included in the uh, train ticket price. So the bathroom is pretty standard. I had to use the bigger one because I think somebody's riding for free in the other small one because it's been closed for like the past 30 minutes. And come on, who spent 30 minutes in the bathroom? But it's not too bad, pretty clean. This one has a lot of space because it's meant for like the changing table. And we're gonna about to check out the little food bar cart in uh, cart cabin three. to the onboard bar slash cafe and she got a cappuccino which is really cool and what else this is like some really nice looking sandwich yeah it's a club sandwich it's like a really flaky bread here nice it's even got somebody's signature on it sandwich by carlo all right i think he's a popular italian chef yeah remember we're in italy and uh, chefs are like celebrities here so when you see these kind of special names they kind of Give some weight to the food. All right. Okay. Ooh, wow, it's soft. How does it rate with like a regular Italian sandwich? Well, it's probably going to be the only bite that I take from that because I think there's blue cheese on there. Oh. That's okay though. Everything else about it is good. I have something else for you. There's one more box. I'm not a huge fan of blue cheese. Sorry. Everything else is good. It's really, really soft. The bread is super moist. Just a good overall sandwich. No complaints. Let's see what else. Yeah, that's that's more up your alley. <laughs> this is like a crumb cake, I think. I know, they just said pastry. I think it changes all the time. <laughs> Not a lot of review today, but at least the train is really nice. It looks, uh, it definitely looks like a crumb cake, but right now it looks like there's more crumb than cake. <laughs> Let's see. 
Whoa, it's like walnut. Really? Yeah. Damn. Oh, I don't even notice the camera anymore. I'm just trying to eat this thing. I don't know why, but this train station makes me feel like we're in Harry Potter. Yeah. I don't know why. I think it's the big giant dome that makes you feel like you're in some kind of a like you're heading to Hogwarts or something like that. Like it's, it's pretty huge. It, unfortunately, this camera is not going to be able to capture the entire scale of it. So when you're it's looking up, it probably only looks like it's maybe a hundred feet yeah. up. It's it's a lot lot higher it's than huge. That. Yeah. And they have like I think it used to be probably colored glass, but it looks a little dirty now. Definitely. But the atmosphere here is huge. I think there's like 320,000 people a day go through this train station. So so it's not the biggest in Europe, but it's pretty out there. I love how in Italy you can get pretty much anything at the vending machine. So we have one, we have different types of cafes you can get, of course, Lavazza, and we have the different sandwiches, which they look great, but I feel so skeptical about trying one of these because I don't know, like, how long have they been sitting out there? I mean, I'll get the Twix, but I don't know about those sandwiches. Would you get one? No, not, not something. I don't think I've ever had food poisoning in my life and I'm not going to take a chance with, an, a, with a vending machine sandwich. I think this has to be definitely one of the prettiest train stations I've ever been to. How about you? It's, it's nice, but it's also probably one of the busiest train stations I've ever been to. There's freaking packed people everywhere. It's huge, but there's also people everywhere. We have reached our destination. So the train was delayed 12 minutes. It was supposed to be two hours and 15 minutes, but it was just plus 12. What did you think about the train ride? So I was a little bummed out in the beginning because I thought the train wasn't actually gonna get close to that 300 kilometer per hour. But at one point towards the end with our last stop, it actually got to about 245, 250, which is really, really awesome. I mean, you can just see stuff outside flying by. It's pretty awesome. I just wish the windows were a little bit more clean. But the experience, the staff was super friendly. Everything was clean from the bathroom to the bistro to the seats. And I think it was definitely worth the money and the time because we're in Milan. It's definitely going to be something we do again. So hopefully uh, stay tuned, check out more of our adventures and you don't want to miss the next video. Ciao.